Hi, I'm Sofia Orta, and I'm um, an incoming junior at Warren High School in Downey, California. I was a future leader this past year in 2024, and I do plan on being a future leader again in the coming years. Um, my favorite summertime activities, I would say, um, would have to be going to the beach. Um, I stay local during the summertime. I don't go far out. So either going to the beach or just um, hanging out with my friends at um, like the mall or stuff like that. What drives my advocacy for the bleeding disorders community is um, many things. My dad is a severe hemophiliac A. Um, and because of that, I am a mild hemophiliac and I have a sister who has mild hemophilia as well. And it's just been um, a lifestyle that I've like adapted to. And through having hemophilia, I've been welcomed into a community that is um, wonderful. And seeing that there's a, um, a few people like me and my like my dad and my sister, it's very comforting and um, seeing that we all um, go through something and go through the same thing, um, such as the bleeding disorder. Um, it's kind of um, nice to know that there's always people there and they are like my second family and I can always count on them. So they are people I want to protect and advocate for. Okay, I would have to say my favorite part of the Future Leaders Program would have to be um, my experience over there while I was at Sacramento and meeting all these great people. And I got a bond with them and I got to have a close relationship with them. And then we got to do like a scavenger hunt. And it was just a great bonding experience. Participating in Future Leaders has helped me greatly. Um, it's really helped my um, confidence because I was more confident in speaking up and sharing my experiences. And um, it was just a really great experience because um, I came out of my shell a bit more. And so now I feel much more confident in the advocacy and speaking that I do. My brother, Diego, was a, also a future leader during COVID. So he didn't get to experience the same things I did going out to the Capitol, but um, he still advocated. And that was... Um, really important to me because um, he's my older brother and I do look up to him for that. And he wasn't just advocating for me, he was advocating for my younger sister and my dad who both have hemophilia. And it was just really heartwarming to see him do because um, I look up to him and I'm proud of him for that. And it just makes me want to follow in his footsteps and do the same. I just want to say overall, it was a great experience. And even if I don't do it again, I was able to do what I did. And I felt like I made a huge impact um, with helping the bleeding disorder community. And it was just a really good experience that I got to participate in.